could be, you know, or it is our last game together as Buckeyes. And uh, it is emotional, but we're, we're looking to do it the right way and, and get a big win. But uh, it's exciting, too. I was going to say, do you ever get a sense that y'all are ready? I mean, you know, as an offensive line, I mean, going into that Michigan game, did you have a sense? Y'all you know, were ready to make up for what happened the week before. I mean, do you have that kind of sense now? You know, yeah, you know, yeah, we're excited about Notre Dame. You know, they're a big time opponent, and you know, we approach every game the same way. So yeah, we're we're feeling it. We're excited to play, and you know, they have some good guys in their defense. We're excited to go play against those guys. And, Is there any part? Um, it seemed like the way you guys played against Michigan was sort of reminiscent of how you played at the end of last year when you were just displacing guys and kind of doing what you wanted to do. To get to that point, <clears throat> excuse me, finally, but then not have the Big Ten title game and the playoff to kind of carry that over into. Is that disheartening, frustrating to, to, to hit that mark but not have the, the, the games after it to sort of carry it through? I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. So, you know, you can't let that get in the way of what we got to do against Notre Dame. You know, I'm sure we all wish we were playing that game, but we can't. You know, we're not. So. You know, why, why stress and worry about it when you can't control it? So we're just focused on Notre Dame. Is it more difficult to carry that momentum, though, because you don't have the – I mean, at this time last year you had a game in between so the Michigan game and this, and this week. Is it more difficult to carry that momentum because you didn't have that extra game in there or no? No. Um, we carried it through practice, and, yeah, we still got it. So we're ready. I thought you <clears throat> said the other day – a couple weeks ago, maybe a week ago, that you were just going to come back next year. So uh -huh. how did you make that decision, and, and what all went into that? Um, there's a lot of things that went into that. You know, talking with the coaches and my family, and um, just decided that you know the pros of coming back are greater than the pros of leaving right now. And I love Ohio State. I love the coaches. Um, I want to graduate. And there's still some things that I, personally I want to accomplish here and. You know, as a team, we make another run for it. You know, we definitely have the potential to do that again. So I want to do that, and I want to play for Ohio State again. A lot of people play try center. To, a lot of people try to slide you over to center. Are they talking to you about coming back as guard, or maybe you? I'm going to play center. center. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to play center. How much of a consideration was that that you get the shot to play center? If that's where maybe the NFL is projecting you. Yeah, it was a big uh, consideration. You know, I want to work at playing center and get good at playing center. Because at the end of the day, I'll probably be a center at the next level just because of my size. So I'm going to come back, play for our state, and play center. I mean, it's, it's your decision, obviously, and you have to look out for what, what's best for you and, and your family, certainly. But how much of it, too, was that you, did you assess the, the future offensive line situation and realize that had you not come back, it would really just be Billy and four new guys, and now it's you, Billy, and you guys can sort of be the leader of that young group that's going to play next year? Yeah, um, I also want to do that, you know, come back and and be the, the main guy in that group, be the leader in that group, and help develop those young guys. Because those young guys have a lot of potential and a lot of, you know, talent. And we just, you know, me and Billy and Coach Warner got to, you know, help bring that out. And once we do, you know, they'll be pretty good players. So, you know, we'll have a good line next year. But, yeah. Was, was it a, a, a long process for you? Or did you make it like that? Yeah, it was a long process. Um, I was really trying to delay it all year, not really thinking about it, because um, we had to focus. But then towards the end of the season, you could submit that paperwork and get an evaluation. So I did that, and was really just pondering my decision, thinking of you know the pros of leaving and the pros of staying, and what I can do you know here and the possibilities of what I can do you know at the next level. And I just want to stay and play center and play for the Buckeyes again. Do you think moving to center gives you all a better chance to put your best five guys out there? Um, yeah, it could be. We'll see how that plays out in the spring and stuff. But, you know, we'll, the guys are going to have to battle it out and see who the best five is going to be. You know, I don't know yet. Nobody He's, wants to come out and, like, stump for captaincy, but could you see yourself, I mean, potentially maybe being captain next year? Could you imagine, you know, going back to when you enrolled at Ohio State, started in as, like, a freshman, that one day you could be a Buckeye captain? I didn't know anything about that then, but... <laughs> Now I definitely think it's a good possibility. Did Taylor offer you any advice about that decision? I mean, he kind of went through it last year a little bit. Yeah, I was talking to him about it the whole time, and you know, I talked with the coaches and my parents, and I talked to him about it, and you know, we all kind of agreed on the same thing. You don't seem like the kind of guy who would probably care about this. You seem like to put the team in the line ahead of you, but. 
do you realize how important your decision is now to the to the future of this team? How how big of a boost that is for not only the offensive line, but I mean the whole team to have a fifth year guy back in a very important position. Yeah, you know, we're all excited about it, and uh, yeah, I mean, it helps to have veteran guys in the O line and definitely at center, just you know, making the calls and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm excited about being back and excited to you know, get some young talent in there and at the, on the O line and see what they can do a little bit. Were you more excited or was Ed more excited? <laughs> <laughs> we all were excited. Uh, yeah, we were all pretty pumped up about it.